Your thumb hurts whenever you move it. Well, there's a new term that's been coined now, texting thumb, which makes perfect sense considering how we hold our smartphones and how we repeat this motion over and over again. Just imagine, whenever you do this motion, there is some residual contraction controlled by your brain that increases the tension in the flexor of your thumb. And you can only guess how often this motion is executed. Just look at the mostly young people who will grow up texting and really go at it at super high speeds. I mean, back in the day, it used to be our fingers pecking into the mechanical typewriter, going clack, clack, clack. Today, it's our thumbs going tap, tap, tap. And all these residual tensions are adding up. And it's not too far-fetched to connect that to why our thumbs hurt. And then you're diagnosed with arthrosis in your thumb joint. You think, oh my God, arthrosis. But don't worry too much. Maybe there's a bit of arthrosis in there already. But if anything at all, it's rather a side effect to this excessive use of your thumb than the cause for the pain. But that's easy to figure out by doing a foam rolling massage and the exercises and then check how your thumb feels. And let me tell you, and it's true in most cases, it's going to feel much better. And your problem might even disappear altogether. And that's proof positive that it's not the arthrosis causing the pain in your thumb joint, but that the pain originates from your muscles and fascia. And as soon as the tensions in the muscles and the fascia have been normalized, the arthrosis will be reversed and start regenerating. Of course, it's not the arthrosis that's regenerating, but the worn-down cartilage in your joint. This is highly contentious among experts because they can't observe that. But in the meantime, it has been proven in the Netherlands at the University of Utrecht. A research team has proven that it can work so you can trust that if the situation has been normalized and the forces from this excessive texting have been reduced, the cartilage structure will be able to rebuild itself. So, what are we going to do? Ina, please, take the mini ball. And you at home, please do the same. Then put your hand on your thigh, just like Ina. And then you could see how much your muscle is bulging here, whenever you move your thumb. Because this is where the muscle is located. This is where we want to make sure... We want to make sure that everything that has accumulated over time gets moving again. All the metabolic waste, all the inflammatory elements that have developed there. It's a never-ending job. Wherever you have that tension, it's your body's work in progress. And that's why you always have inflammatory elements there that have to be removed, which normally happens quickly, as soon as everything can start to regenerate. So now we start working on this with small, spiraling motions. Work on the bulge is the, the word that comes to mind. Work on it and move around this area in small, spiraling motions. Then when you notice that some spots are more sensitive than others, maybe even the spots that hurt when you move your thumb, then stay on that spot. Don't worry, our ball has a soft, yielding surface. The core is hard enough to apply sufficient pressure, but its surface is of a comforting softness to protect your bones. It's nice and soft at the surface. And so, use a lot of power, and you'll notice, right after our rolling massage, how the pain in your thumb joint has subsided or has even gone for good. And that before we even start with the exercises. Don't be shy. Apply a lot of pressure. Ina is pressing hard with her left hand. And you could position your thumb so it's easy to reach the relevant spots. You'll notice where it's needed. Good. Press hard and work on the entire surface. Don't forget to use your breathing. 
take deep breaths in and out. It helps you notice immediately when you're overdoing it and the pain becomes too much to bear because then you'll stop breathing calmly and hold your breath, a sure sign that it's too intense. Always listen to your body. That's a great way to learn about your limits. And when you've covered this area three or four times, we'll move on to the two exercises. So please put away the ball. And now, stay seated. We're turning our hands like this. So our palms are up. And with the other hand, we grab our thumbs like this. Let me turn so you could have a better look at it. Grab it like this and then carefully pull on your thumb and you'll notice a strong stretch right here. And increase that stretch as much as the tissue allows it and yields to a 9, 9.5 on your personal pain scale, always below the number where you can't breathe calmly anymore because the pain is too intense. That would be 10. We don't want that. We always want to stay below 10, but above 8. Deep breaths in and out, and on your exhale, pull a millimeter further. Whenever you breathe out, pull a little more. Breathe in and out. Pull a bit more. We'll do that for two, two and a half minutes. Slowly increase the pull, and this way we lengthen the fascia so that it can restructure itself. Deep breaths in and out. So I guess we've passed the one and a half minute mark. What do you think, Ina? We need at least two minutes or two and a half. We often use that time span because here, only with a little time, we have the greatest effect. Slowly release your thumb, you at home too, and move your hand around a little bit, loosen it up. Now, let's do the following. Hold your hand in front of you like this, move your thumb inside, touching your palm. Yeah, maybe do it like Ina did and pull a little. And then make a closed fist, hold it tight. Straighten our arm, bend our wrist, and rotate inwards. And you could feel tension building up on the outside of your thumb that radiates up your arm. And now we work our way in, right in there. And you could help your thumb by pushing it in from the side so it wants to move outwards but stays inside as much as possible, like this. And you could feel how this rotation stretches you up here. Use your other hand for support. Hold your thumb so it stays in its position. Bend inwards even more, more, more. That's a very important exercise for your thumb, so that later you can give us a thumbs up if you've liked our video. And subscribe to our channel. And always leave requests of what you would like to see. A lot of people write to us asking for videos on this and that and any problems that they might have. We'd like to help you out there. Bend the wrist a bit more. Always stay under 10. I always say, if you can still grin while you bear it, then that's exactly the look on your face I want to see. Let's give it another 30 seconds. Rotate inwards a little more. And increase the bend a bit. Use your other hand to push your thumb in so it can't escape to stretch, so it won't cheat its way out. 
but it stays fully committed to the exercise. And slowly release your grip. Move slowly, really slowly, and don't be surprised if your thumb wants to stay in. That's quite normal and proof that the exercise really worked. Massage your thumb with your other hand a bit so it can move again. There's so many things you could do. Hope you had fun with our exercises. Now the mobility in your thumb is back. Shake it loose a little bit. And that's it for today. And as I said, your thumb should go up like this for this great exercise. Have fun doing it, and do it regularly, and everything will loosen up, and you can go on texting as much as you want without any problems. Bye.